Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we'll be talking about an agent that has taken the AI community by storm. Uh, and this particular agent framework is by OpenAI and it's called Swarm. Uh, but before I talk about Swarm, I quickly want to talk about the goal of this particular video. Today we'll be creating a technical content writing agent and that agent will essentially take in a query from the user uh, and then it'll do a detailed analysis or detailed research on top of that particular uh, query that is a theme that uh, the user would probably give and the goal is to create a thousand word blog post on the topic it's a very simple agent and the idea uh, for this particular agent is to essentially help us understand the swarm framework all right uh, this is a little small illustration that i've created uh, as you can see uh, there is a user the user you know gives a theme and this in this case uh, the theme is why is it is fast so the interface agent essentially uh, an agent that takes in the query, it understands the query, and if it wants to ask more relevant question so that it, it, it can essentially send the relevant query uh, to the research researcher agent, it, uh, it, it, it asks a few questions back to the uh, user. If it, if it is happy with the kind of query or the theme that is coming, it'll immediately pass that particular query to the researcher agent. The researcher agent uh, will do a detailed research on that particular topic. It'll basically, you know, uh, hit the search engine, one of the search engines, uh, take the top ranking results, and then scrape the content from that, uh, analyze the content, and then uh, essentially give us, a, you know, the research report. Uh, the research uh, agent is uh, hands off the uh, the task to the blogger agent. Blogger agent essentially takes the research uh, report, creates a thousand word blog out of it, and then returns. Uh, the block content to the interface agent, the interface agent returns it back to the user. A very simple implementation, all right? Uh, but before I walk you guys through the code, I wanna talk about uh, the, the Swarm framework itself. All right, so what is Swarm? Swarm is essentially a multi-agent framework uh, that is created by OpenAI and they're calling it experimental and educational at this point in time. But uh, if you Google, or if you basically do a quick YouTube search about Swarm, you'll probably see that everybody's going gaga over this. There are many developers who are calling it probably one of the best frameworks, uh, the, the best multi-agent framework that is in the market right now. Uh, those uh, OpenAI is still calling it experimental, uh, but I can, I can guarantee you after this video, you'll see that it's working and it probably uh, if they release a production version of this, they'll probably be, become uh, probably the top multi-agent framework. All right, so what is Swarm? Swarm is essentially a multi-agent orchestration framework that allows developers to essentially build framework uh, or build agentic framework uh, to coordinate multiple agents efficiently. This framework is particularly useful for scenarios where tasks can be broken down to any subtask and each can be handled by specialized agents. Uh, you'll probably see uh, the in the in the previous example in the illustration that I had just shown to you guys. Let me go back to the uh, illustration. Uh, though the intent is to basically create a thousand word blog post, but you know that uh, research is actually a task in itself, uh, where you know I need to spend a lot of time sifting through several articles and then uh, analyzing all those articles and then probably coming up with uh, uh, you know a research uh, material. Uh, so that I can write a blog post on it. This research can be, become an agent and writing the blog post uh, in the format that we want can become an agent in itself. And to coordinate these efforts, depending on the query that is coming in for the user, that can be an agent itself. So you can actually break down tasks into multiple agents essentially, right? Uh, let me go back to the slide. This, now this framework relies on two key components, agents and handoffs. Agents are self-contained units with defined instructions enabling them to make decisions within the system. And handoffs uh, allows agents to transfer tasks or conversations among each other, offering greater flexibility and control. This approach essentially ensures operational efficiency, enabling multiple agents to coll collaborate seamlessly. And by emphasizing control and adaptability, the Swarm framework actually simplifies the management of complex AI systems. Uh, I believe that uh, amongst all the several multi-agent frameworks that I've seen, this is probably a cleanest implementation. And uh, and the concept to implement that is just a few lines, and you'll, you'll probably see that in a bit. 
All right, I think uh, we've spoken about what is form and the key components. So actually, look, let's look at uh, a simple Im implementation. Uh, this is going to be a simple implementation. We'll first look at the two components uh, that we just discussed. There's an agent component or an agent class here that you see. Uh, the class takes in the name of the agent, the model, uh, in this case, GPT-4 Omini, and the instructions. Right? What are the instructions to, the, uh, to this particular agent? Uh, for example, for the blogger agent, my instruction is you're a top technical blogger and specialized in creating compelling technical content for blogs based on research report. Uh, the agent also takes in functions. The functions could be methods, uh, and this method, you know, you could talk to a, an API, you could talk to a database, uh, and it also, uh, the functions uh, could also take in a handoff uh, component or the handoff method. Uh, the handoff method, which is uh, central to the Swarm uh, framework, uh, looks something like this. All it does is it takes control from one agent and passes it to another agent. Uh, as you can see from this method, doc string, uh, hand off the user query to the researcher agent. When I run this in sequence, you'll probably you know understand. All right, let's quickly download all the packages uh, we need to run this. Uh, the three key packages uh, for this particular example are obviously the Swarm package, uh, the OpenAI client, and GPT Researcher. Now, GPT Researcher is almost like an agent framework, uh, uh, you know, some open source uh, lovers have written, which essentially takes in a research theme and then does a very detailed research uh, you know, on that particular topic and returns report. It returns multiple types of report, and but in this case, I just want, uh, you know, a simple report. Uh, what it uses underneath is Tavili Tavili, uh, you know, is a library that uh, can talk to multiple databases, uh, multiple search engines, uh, swift through uh, the top links for a given topic or a keyword, and then uh, scrape the content from those particular links and then return a structured response. Uh, but GPT research researcher library takes that response from Tabby Lee and then analyzes, uh, does a deep analysis of all the content and then returns you know, a structured response back. That's what it does, a detailed report about the theme that we intend to research. All right, uh, let's look at all the methods that we have defined here. Uh, the first method is, uh, you know, uh, get report method. Get report method essentially is to get uh, a detailed research report using the GPT researcher topic, uh, using uh, the GPT researcher package. Uh, and how how do we invoke this particular method? We use uh, async io dot run. The reason I'm using async io dot run uh, here is uh, basically as a workaround because I was not able to await uh, this particular method uh, in the agent class. Uh, I'll probably have to, you know, see how I can do that. Uh, so I created a simple method, which is like a wrapper research topic, which again internally calls get report. In an idle scenario, I should this shouldn't exist. I should be calling this directly. The other method is uh, generate completion, a simple uh, completion method to talk to the LLM and get a response. Uh, and uh, there are two agents. Uh, uh, in fact, there are three agents, uh, like we discussed in the illustration. The first one is the user interface agent, which essentially inter interacts with uh, the user, depending on the query. If the query is incomplete, or if the query is too broad, or the theme is too broad, it'll essentially want it to be, uh, you know, uh, it'll ask the user if the particular theme can be zeroed on, on a subtopic. Uh, if it is no, it continues. If it is yes, then it'll ask, you know, more, more questions. Uh, to the user, you'll probably see that in the in the example. Uh, now, what we are doing here is uh, we are passing. Uh, we are, we are bas uh, uh, this particular agent has one function. It's called handoff to researcher. So after uh, the LLM is satisfied with the theme, it hands off that particular theme to the researcher. So the control is passed to uh, the researcher agent. How? If you see the handoff to researcher method here. The hand of the researcher method is basically calling the researcher agent. And we have uh, basically created the researcher agent here. The researcher agent takes in an instruction. You're a researcher agent specialized in researching. If you're settled, uh, satisfied with the research, hand of the report to the blocker. So, uh, and the functions that you need to call is one is the research topic. The research topic function is something that we just discussed here. 
this one is essentially, essentially calls the GPT researcher method. And after it gets the report, it calls the handoff to blogger method. Basically, after it is satisfied that the, the report is good enough to be passed to uh, the handoff to blogger method. Handoff to blogger method nothing does nothing. It just takes in uh, the control and passes it to the blogger agent. Blogger agent is simple uh, agent that we've created here. Uh, all we want, to, want it to do is uh, take that particular uh, input or the research uh, data and then research report and pass it to the generated block content method. Generated block content simply creates a compelling uh, blog post and returns the blog post. All right. So let's run this particular method now. I think I may I have run this, but I'm gonna run this again. In this particular cell. Uh, and now we'll run the user interface agent. User interface agent will essentially run in a loop. Uh, I've already written this particular question here or the theme that I want. I want to basically check the top five technical skills to learn in 2025. And I, I want to essentially write a thousand word blog post about it. Let's see how this works. So uh, like I told you, uh, it'll immediately not pass uh, the theme to uh, the researcher agent. It'll first ask me some clarifying questions like I have instructed it to do. So to clarify your request, are you looking for specific technical re uh, skills related to particular industry? So yes, I am interested in software development and it was satisfied with my answer. I think uh, what it has done essentially right now is it has handed off the control to the researcher agent and the researcher agent uh, essentially is using the GPT researcher to research on this particular topic. It is looking up, uh, uh, it used the table search to essentially get the top ranking uh, URLs for that particular query and then it is it has scraped those particular particular URLs and trying to analyze the content for us. And as you can see, it, is, it has already started printing uh, the content. Uh, and the report was generated as well. Uh, now the uh, the researcher agent has essentially transferred the control to blogger uh, agent. Now the blogger agent is essentially working on generating the blog. It is. Remember, this is a very large input, uh, so it is trying to, you know, there's some latency here, it's, it's taking its time. All right, so it has already started generating the block content, as you can see. Yep, it's done. Let us uh, quickly read that particular blog. Right, so uh, essential skills, this is the heading, essential skills for software development, staying competitive in 2025. And this is the intro as we approach 2025, the pace of technological advancements. Let's look at actually the top five skills it is recommending. Uh, mastering artificial intelligence and machine learning goes without saying. Uh, second is embracing cloud computing serverless architecture. Again, a hot skill to learn. Uh, if you combine probably one and two, uh, probably the most, uh, you know, lucrative skills to learn today. And obviously the third one is interlinked. I think just about all the recommendations it is making is linked uh, to one another. Capitalism, low code and no code development, cool. And the last one is diving into data science and analytics. Um, the first one and the last one somehow seem to be related, but you know, it is, that's what it has probably got from the research and it is also the good thing is it is, you know, citing a few articles as references, but I also see some 2024 articles. Remember the idea of this particular uh, uh, implementation is not to see the quality yet. Uh, we we need to write more detailed, uh, you know, prompts or instructions so that we don't get uh, these kind of results. The quality still can be controlled through writing very detailed instructions and also writing evals on top of this. But 
uh, as you could probably see, implementation is very easy. Uh, you can probably write an agent within a few lines of code. And if you ha have full clarity on what is the kind of uh, you know, agent that you want to write and how you want to orchestrate the communication between agents, I believe Swamp is probably one of the best frameworks. All right, so uh, if you like this particular video, please like and subscribe. I'll be creating more content on Swamp. So we saw the first simple implementation. We'll probably be creating uh, a more complex orchestration of uh, agents using Swarm in the next video. Thank you so much.